Hi, my name is Pawnees. Um, I'm the very fortunate winner of Dr. Kotler's um, giveaway for the rhinoplasty. And it has been, I think, about a year now, a year and maybe some months. And the change in, you know, not just the physical, obviously, as you can see, I'm very happy with the, you know, aesthetic outcome. Um, I no longer have to worry when I'm like walking around like, oh, someone is looking at my profile. Please don't be looking for me at this angle or pushing my glasses all the way down here to squeeze my nose together. Um, so, you know, there's been a lot of that change, but I think the thing that I really wanted to touch base on and ask actually was um, the emotional and mental change. Um, I, like, back in the day when I wanted to, like, lose weight, for example, it was a lot of thinking of, like, well, what's the point? You know, if I lose weight, everyone's still gonna be looking at my nose. I, you know, I'm, why even bother? There was a lot of, I think, um, I think pressure on myself a lot because I was constantly thinking about my nose. Um, and, you know, just on the day to day, when I wake up, I'm thinking like, I actually like myself now. Like when I wake up, even if I don't have makeup on, I like the way I look. Um, just the way I interact with people has changed. I actually do video calls now with like, at work, which I always avoided. I would always say like, oh, there's something wrong with my internet connection. Ugh, I'm gonna turn that off. Now I don't do that anymore. And people have noticed like, one thing that uh, my family has said a lot lately is like, you're so much happier lately. Like, you know, what's, what's happened? I'm like, well, to be honest, the biggest change is the rhinoplasty. Um, and the other nice thing also is like, whenever you come into Dr. Kotler's office, they are, you know, boosting you from A to Z, like not only just like telling you like, oh my God, you look amazing, which you do, but just, you know, keeping you comfortable throughout the entire process, just that confidence they instill in you, like making sure you're happy. And I think that's one thing, um, if I could sum everything, the whole experience up is just Dr. Kotler's in the business of making people happy. Like, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm going to give you a nose job and then you're out of the door and bye, I'm never going to talk to you again. He will check in on you from day one to, to year now, you know, whatever time it is right now. He's still checking in on me, making sure everything's good. The nasal airway was honestly one of the most amazing parts of the surgery because, like I said, everyone when they have rhinoplasty, the number one thing they complain about is like, I can't breathe, this part's so uncomfortable. For me, it was great. And you know, I had no issues breathing. And of course it's out after a day. So, you know, you barely even kind of get, once you start getting adjusted to it, it's out, so. The surgery center is, uh, you kind of feel like you're going into like a Beverly, well, I mean, you are in Beverly Hills, but it's like a hotel. Like when I went in there, everything's super white and pristine and so chic. There's like orchids and whatnot. And so you walk in there, um, you know, you get greeted by the staff working there who are so sweet. They're, they're just there to make you as comfortable as possible. They'll like joke around with you a little bit, be like, oh my God, are you ready? Are you excited? Um, and then, you know, the anesthesiologist, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, you know, he, he'll just like, you know, make sure you're doing okay. Um, I was really personally scared about anesthesia, which I think a lot of people are, like going under, but you really don't need to be. I think the good way to describe it is like a spa experience. You're going in there all quiet and people are just sweet and they're all talking to you in a calm voice and then you're in a nap and then you're awake. So yeah, super, super relaxing experience from start to finish. Denise has described something that is uh, important, uh, equally important in terms of the entire experience for rhinoplasty and that is your comfort and safety in the outpatient surgery center. I believe that the key is, I've lived this myself, being super specialized. The Summit Surgery Center, which is in the building right next door, uh, right. is highly specialized. Only cosmetic procedures are performed there. The anesthesiologist are excellent because they are very focused on just a few procedures. They don't do hospital work. They're there all the time. That's what they do. And I've worked with them for over 20 years. The staff is good because they're stable. They're not rotating in from a hospital. They work there and they work there because they like it. And by the way, those positions are very coveted because this is a, as you mentioned, a very small, well-working facility as opposed to a large hospital with thousands of employees and turnover and changes. That's not good. The most important thing is your comfort and safety. The anesthesia today is extremely safe because it's based on propofol, the great colonoscopy drug. 
You remember you said, okay, you're going to three seconds yeah. from vein to <laughs> yeah, brain. Exactly. And you inject it and you go out. And of course, mm -hmm. then we put in local anesthesia, which you didn't know. Mm -hmm. so there's no pain. And when you wake up, there's no pain. Very sophisticated techniques. Extremely sophisticated and extraordinarily safe. And the key to a good anesthesia also is the preparation. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this, but you got a Valium pill. Oh, I did. I do remember under that. Under your yeah. tongue as soon as you got to That's the probably why I was so relaxed. <laughs> so everybody is kind of just kind of chilled out. And that's great. Yes. Because people, everybody's going to come a little anxious. People worry about things they haven't been through before. A little Valium under the tongue, and then 10 to 15 minutes later, it's... Oh yeah, I'm yeah. doing fine. Absolutely, yeah, and that's I was the mush. the perfect prelude, the perfect <laughs> opening to the actual anesthetic. Mm -hmm. So again, highly specialized, highly focused, repeating the same procedures over and over is absolutely healthy for the patient and it delivers their comfort and, and a good experience. And yes, there's massage machines, yes. there warming <laughs> blankets, all the comforts of home. And I wanna, I wanna acknowledge that and express my appreciation to those people behind the scenes Absolutely. for all the years that I've worked with them. Indispensable, we could not do our best work without dedicated anesthesiologists, nurses, nurses aides, the secretarial staff, there's a lot of people behind the scenes, yeah, yeah. And, and that's really important because it's all about you. <laughs> and so you got a big support team there. Yeah, and as I say, I, I very much appreciate your comments. I, I saw from the first day, even the first day, the whole personality is, is changed. Like suddenly she just uh, feeling her true um, you know um, herself like she was so happy I can see the uh, that emotion of the sadness of of seeing the true beauty in herself physically she just um, the she didn't um, realize how beautiful she was because of the nose she has. It's always like hiding when they will be going to places. Like she wasn't like I don't want to come, or when she come, the the nose is was the part. Like let's take a picture. No, I don't want to take a picture. So after the surgery, I can see like how hundred percent she changed uh, the total of the view she has of how. Mm, who she is. Even she's doing a sport. She was yeah. hating a sport. Every day she's mom, let's go walk. That's how she feeling like good about herself. And this is something I can, um, I can just from my rest of my life, I'm gonna say like every day, thank you to Dr. Kostler. Like, this is amazing. If you can change somebody's life in that level, so that's amazing. Panis is a fabulous young lady. She's very perceptive, and I, I'm so proud that you're happy with what we did for Absolutely. you. My teacher, Howard Diamond of New York, the most prolific cosmetic nasal surgery in the history of the specialty, under whom I was fortunate to have studied, and he did my rhinoplasty, said to me, Bob, when you do a rhinoplasty, you're doing brain surgery. And I never forgot that. He's right. We see it all the time. It's not just a surgical operation. It is a change in one's perception of themselves. I lived it myself. I'm very happy. One of the best decisions I ever made. And he says it better than any doctor can because it's from the heart and through her own experience. It's a powerful operation. Absolutely. And I've been very fortunate to be able to deliver happiness. It is not delivering a rhinoplasty surgical result. It's we do deliver happiness and then patients say, you know, that part of my brain that was always focused on my nose, as you said, yeah. it's now clear. 100%. It's gone. Yeah. I don't worry about it anymore. And that's great. To relieve the brain of that little burden, I'm really blessed to have been able to help 